well, <laughs> good evening. I'm hoping this works out, okay? Uh, I'm actually not too far from my home. As everybody knows, I kind of live in the middle of nowhere, and it's kind of hard to see. And today's, well, I should say the collaboration for tomorrow, which is the 17th, is going to be between CMA and Reading 2. And it's about the steps that you need to take during a emotional crisis in a therapy program. Now, uh, just for your information, wilderness therapy programs are used uh, by a number of people for students who are in trouble. All right. And the, and the basic idea, and you'll get it from the PowerPoint presentation I created, is that, you know, basically a kid that has some issues, you take them out in a wild area and, and they live primitively. So it kind of like strips down some of the outside influences. Right. And there's a lot of evidence it works. There's some evidence that it may cause more harm than good. But here's the point. Now, where I'm at right now, and I thought this would work on night mode and I hear something running around out in the bushes here I'm not sure what it is there's actually a lot of rodents and whatnot and I know there's some deer but anyways now imagine I'm a I'm a teenage student and we're going on our first night hike and that's one of the things that they like to do so here I am with my headlamp and all of a sudden you know this is the first time I'm in the woods and I'm getting really nervous and I'm scared and I'm wondering, what, what, what's that? What's that noise? What is going on here? Why do I have to come out here? This is, this is stupid. Oh, I can't stand my parents. You know what? Heck with this. I'm not doing anything like this. I'm just going to, you know, forget it. I'm just going to sit here. Obviously, if, you know, my role, little role play of a uh, student going through a crisis situation um, might not be too convincing. But the big point is, what would you do? Okay. You're a staff, right? You're, you're a counselor. Maybe you're a medical assistant and you happen to get a job at one of these places. And, you know, uh, I'll tell you from personal experience that you're going to be required to uh, do a few things that are outside your scope. And what I mean by that is, you know, uh, you may as, even though you may be a medical assistant for, say, this one facility, one of the things that you're going to have to do, you may have to go on a night hike with a group of students and, you know, be there just in case there's a medical emergency. But often there can be Emotional crisis emergencies, just as like I kind of lamely imitated that, you know, sometimes students on these hikes might have an emotional breakdown. So if they're having an emotional breakdown, what are the first steps? Give me some ideas. Okay. And uh, that's going to be part, that's going to be part of the assignment. Write down, or I should say in this case, type into the document. What are some things you would do? And again, think about it, okay? 